What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as a D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the intersection expression. So what is intersection? Intersection is a, a function or an expression that you can use that allows you to pass in an array or, or multiple arrays and only return values that are common to those arrays. So if you have two different arrays with um, some data in them and each one of those objects inside those arrays, um, if that exists in multiple places, then it's going to return the one which has the multiple values in. But let's take a look at it and you can kind of see that in more action, in more detail here. So I have my uh, manual trigger flow here and I'm initializing two variables that are arrays. So I've got this first one called list, it's an array. Uh, we've got some data in here, so we've got this first person called Dean Herb, and we've got this second person called Heath Taylor. Then I'm going on, I'm initializing another variable called, um, you know, ingeniously, list2. Uh, and in this one, I still have a person called Dean Herb with all the same details from that first array, but I also have a person called Frank Bruno. Um, now, what should happen is when I use the intersection on both of these arrays, it should return the um, object which is only the f which is only common in both of them. So that should just be this Dean Herb one. So if I scroll down to the compose action and click in that, go over to expressions. I'm just going to scroll up across and down a little bit. In the collections functions. I can click see more and I've got this intersection uh, function here. So this intersection function allows me to add what, uh, two or more uh, different collections in. So the fact that it says collection one, collection two, comma, and then dot, dot, dot means you can, means you have to specify two, but then you can specify as many more after that that you want. So if I click intersection, and then if I go back to dynamic content, the first one I'm going to put in is list one. And then I'm going to add a comma to separate them. And then I'm going to add list two in. So it's got list one and then list two in here. And click OK. And that goes into my compose action. And now I can test my flow. Click test. Choose I'll perform the action. We'll run the flow. Click done. Uh, and there we can see it's run through all of them uh, and the compose action, the output is Dean Herb in here. So in those first two initializing bits, we had Dean Herb in there twice, once in the first one and once in the second array. Uh, and then the intersection uh, action has allowed me to pull out the only the objects or, or the values in this array that are um, in, that are common in both of those arrays. So that's what this does. So this can be used to validate a couple of pieces of data and say if it appears here and it appears here, then return it and then we can use that somewhere else. So I think this is really handy. But what do you guys think? What are you guys using this for at the moment or do you have any plans to use it in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. If you could like and share this video with your friends, it's always appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button to make sure you can see all my videos and I'll see you next time.